Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we are doing Rebel in US. I know it's kind of late. It's about 3 o'clock. Yes, T. Rebel in US for 10-22-2020. So, we actually have snow. Kind of crazy. We have freezing rain. Mixed precipitation. Rain thunderstorms. Severe thunderstorms possible. Heavy rain flash flooding possible. Critical fire weather outlook. But this is just the start of it. So, um, let me do it in purple. But we have this cold front dipping down, which is moving the jet stream down. And then we're having cold air, which is having, which is making all the snow and even heavy snow for portions in North Dakota, South Dakota, and Minnesota. And then we have the freezing rain possible. Also, and then this is also bringing up lots and lots of moisture. So portions all the way from around San Antonio, you could say, all the way past up into Maine. Um, and then, of course, we have our usual shells near the coast of the eastern seaboard and also the Gulf of Mexico. <sighs> Files. So, this is California's first, first gigafile. Yes, the August Complex file. Now, 1 million 32,157 acres born. And 91% contain. The counties are Mendocino, Humboldt, Trinity, Tahama, Glen, Lake, and Calusa. Um, lightning sparked multiple fires across the Mendocino National Forest early Saturday morning. All tribe viewers, 2020, the status is active and the finals are none. So, any contacts for the rest zone? Contact 707-355-4926. For the North Zone, contact 530-628-0039. The Northwest Zone, 707-867-0965. For the South Zone, contact 530-487-4602. Let's go to our next topic. So I believe that this one is the creek file. Both sides of the San Juan River, Joaquin River, near Mammoth Pool, Shavel Lake, Big Creek, and Hunting Lake. And Hunting Huntington Lake. Mouthful there. But Active for 47 days, 352,000 acres, 61% contained, and two counties of Fresno and Madeira. Uh, 12 helicopters, 16 engines, 11 diesels, and 33 water tenders. Damage and losses, 71 structures damaged, 856 structures destroyed, and 26 injuries. Five injuries of partner of federal, state, and local agencies, 944 personnel, and 23 crews. This, I forget which file this is. Dang. Well, I forget which file this is. But Sequoia National Force, sadly. Um, 168,000 acres, 75% contained, and in Tulale, east of the giant Sequoia National Monument in Tulale County. Come on. The, the Dolan file. Incident type file file updated one day ago. 124,924 acres and contained 98%. The Slater slash Devil files. Incident type provide file updated one hour 16 minutes ago, but this was about so a few hours ago. Size 156,648 acres contained 83%. All Tri Creek File Wildlife 
wide file updated two days ago, 131,542 acres and contained at 95% contained. Holiday form file incident type wildlife updated October 12th, 2020. Size is 173,393 and contained at 96. And these do not go in order from highest to lowest. These are just go in random order that I found them. The Beachy Creek file um, updated night, uh, about a day ago, 193,000 acres and 85% contained. The Riverside file, um, rod file, updated 20 hours ago, um, more like maybe 25 hours ago, 138,054 acres and contained 72%. The Lion Shed file, Rod file updated about five days ago, 204,469 204, acres contained at 46%. The Pool Hill file, wildlife, um, incident type of wildlife, updated September 16th, 2020. The size is 223,730 acres contained 94%. The East Troublesome file, I, I, this file just exploded in Colorado. It just went like woof from about 40,000 up to 125,602 acres and contained only 5%. The Cameron Park Peak, not Park, the Cameron Peak file, wildlife um, type wildlife updated, even though it says 26 minutes ago, it's probably around three, four hours. 206,977 acres and contained at 55%. The Mullen file, wildlife, updated one about four hours ago. 176,863 acres and contained at 76%. Now we are on to the tropics. So we have one disturbance in the um central in the Eastern Pacific, there's nothing occurring in the Central Pacific, so we will not be talking about that. So let's talk about this right now. One, a westward moving broad area of low pressure located nearly 1,000 miles southwest of the southern tip of Baja California Peninsula is producing disorganized shells and thunderstorms. Some limited development of this system could occur within the next day or so before Upper level winds become unfavorable or further development. Formation chance through 48 hours, low at 10%, and through five days, it's low at 10%. So about 20% chance within the next five days. So there's one, one disturbance in, in the Atlantic. Epsilon was a major hurricane, but now it's not. One, a throw a through of low pressure located over the Western Caribbean Sea is producing a large area of disorganized showers and thunderstorms, which primarily exited, extend near Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, and Cuba. Some slow development of the system is possible during the next few days of Iron Mus. Excuse me. Northeast or near Western or central Cuba, the Straits of Florida and the Bahamas through the weekend. Through the week. Regardless of development, locally heavy rainfall is possible for over portions of Cuba, South Florida, and Bahamas through early next week. Formation chance through 48 hours, low at 10%, and formation chance through the next five days is low at 30%, so 40% chance. So now we are moving on to Epsilon. Epsilon was a major whole game, but now it's not. One, tropical storm conditions are expected intermittently on Bermuda through this evening when Epsilon is forecast to make its closest approach east of the island. A tropical storm warning is in effect for Bermuda. Two, dangerous and potentially life-threatening surf and ripcord and rip currents are expected along the coast of Bermuda, the Bahamas, the Greater Antilles, the Leeward Islands, the east coast of the United States, and Atlantic Canada during the next couple of days. 
So, as they said, there was a um, tropical storm warning for Bermuda. That windfield is really big, and then we're supposed to see that get um that starts picking up speed around s- Saturday 8 a.m. and then it's just supposed to go into the jet stream a lot. Of that do. What's um steering the storm at the moment is the Azores High. Why I call it the Azores High instead of the Bermuda High is because. The Azores, well, the Bermuda High has moved over to the Azores, and that's the main reason why the Azores isn't getting as impacted as it normally does, and, and um, Bermuda is getting a lot more impacted, because if it was over Bermuda, then it will be impacting the East Coast and or the um, Azores. So, um, Bermuda, the entire Bermuda, even the lettering, is... Covered in tropical storm force winds. I don't think you can even see the um hurricane force winds because they're so small. So the tropical storm force wind probabilities, Bermuda is right on the borderline of it, 80 to 100 percent. And then Canada, you are in a five to ten percent chance. Um, 58 winds, Bermuda, you're probably a zero to ten percent chance. Um, Hawking Force winds, of course, there's going to be Hawking Force gusts for Bermuda, but we see nothing near that general region. The SPC and WPC. So we have a slight risk of Cedar Rapids, Waterloo, Iowa City, Dubuque, and Marion, Iowa. And then we have a marginal, and that was for 1.08 million people. The marginal risk is for 3.3 million people for Madison and Appleton, Wisconsin, Lubbock, Texas, um, Des Moines and Davenport, Louisiana, Luke Floyd. Bah! Luke Floyd, Wisconsin, and yeah. So we have a 5% wind risk. For 3.333 million people, for Madison, Wisconsin, Des Moines, Iowa, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Davenport, Iowa, and Lubbock, Texas. We have a 15% hair risk for 1.04 million people for Cedar Rapids, Waterloo, Iowa City, DBK, and Marion, Iowa. And then 5% chance for 3.6 million people for Madison, LeBoc, Des Moines, Davenport, and Appleton. Wait, Madison, Wisconsin, Appleton, Wisconsin, LeBoc, Texas, Des Moines, Iowa, and Davenport, Iowa. So we have a um, excessive rain um, rainfall outlook, which is also the flash flood outlook that you see like on the Revel channel. So the slight risk we see right here is for portions just the tip of Illinois, Iowa, Wisconsin, and Michigan, and then we have another region for Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, Illinois, and um, Michigan. So this is the 24-hour probability of snowfall accumulation. Of less to equal to an inch. We have a 95% chance for portions of South Dakota. You can... um. Right over here is where all the shots are. And then you can kind of color coordinate uh, where they are on the map. Just kind of given a quick thing real quick. I'm only going to do this till it reaches down to 50. And then you, you can do it yourself. And then next time, we only have the high, except in Canada, but we are not in Canada, so we are not going to worry about that. Um, we have the high at only 80% chance from 18 UTZ, 
on Thursday to 18 UTC on Friday. Wait, we only need to care about this one. And then, 12 inches for the next 24 hours. The only possibility is over there in the um, UP of Michigan and Northern Wisconsin. And then, there we only have one dot in the UP of Michigan. And then we have some of there in um in Washington, Montana, and Idaho. I believe that is it, right? Yep. But guys, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you get notified when I create another video. I right, bye bye.